You know, when I think over the past 10 years and all the people that were involved in helping the UMAC grow in stature and visibility, um, I'm just honored that I would be identified as someone that had a key part in it. It was a joy for me to be at the beginning of this effort when we made the decision as a conference to go completely all in to Division III NCAA and to see what's happened over the years. Oh, wow, what a pleasure. We have been able to raise our stature within Division III. People now know who the Upper Midwest Athletic Conference is. Our commissioner has been involved, our assistant commissioner and various committees within Division III. A number of us and coaches and representatives at our institution are involved, and that makes a significant difference. So it's a delight. It's a delight for me that not only did I get a chance to chair the President's Council, but that Corey had a chance to head up the commissioners group as well for Division Three, And that speaks well for our conference, and I'm pretty proud of all of that. Well, I love the camaraderie amongst the institutions that are members of the UMAC. There's a great deal of respect, collegiality, support for one another. Um, there's an openness in relationships that you don't see at other conferences. In fact, we don't have that pettiness and that competitiveness outside the gym or outside the field competition. The athletic directors have a significant camaraderie and worked well together. Even the coaches, um, it's a delight for me to see when we play other UMAC teams after the game or uh, after the contest, they get together, they exchange greetings, and um, it's just a pleasure to work in a conference and to be identified with the UMAC because of the quality that we see in our student athletes and in the camaraderie of the entire conference. That's pretty special. And not every conference can say that.